What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shanice Alicia, and I have a poppin' fro right now, okay? Y'all stay tuned to see how I achieve this look. All right, guys, so I'm starting off with this dusty puff. I mean, I should have been shamed walking around like this, for real. So, I haven't been using any elastic bands to tie my hair up. This is actually some old ribbon off of some pillows I bought from Home Goods, and it keeps my hair safe while I put it in a puff. So, I'm just going to separate my hair now into four sections. You guys know the drill. I'm gonna saturate my hair, I'm going to moisturize, detangle, get it out the way, do it for all four sections, and then I'll start the style. All right, so since my hair is so dusty, I'm actually going to use this spray bottle that has my oil mixture in there, and I'm gonna saturate my hair completely, getting it on my scalp. I'm gonna work it through all the way from the root to the end, and then I'm going to break this section down into two smaller sections so that I can comb detangle, add my leave-in conditioner, get this section out the way so that I can start on the other three before I begin my style. So my leave-in conditioner is going to be from that Pure Honey line. Y'all, it's on the last leg. Tell me to give it up and use something else or go buy some more. But y'all know I have a problem with my portion control. You will see that throughout this video. I'm tripping. But I just use a good amount to get it worked up all onto that section. And I know I told y'all for 2018 I was going to stop using my comb to detangle, but y'all, mm-mm, mm-mm, my hair, oh, no, I just, I learned how to be real gentle, and you see, I'm just doing it nice and gently, and I did not have a lot of hair shedding, so I think I can keep my comb as long as I keep some discipline, right?
All right, so now that I have all my sections completely moisturized, that leave-in conditioner is in there, I'm going to start this chunky twist out tutorial. I've been lazy so long, y'all, and this is really something that I have started doing because it's easy, it gets the job done, I get the same results as if I use a smaller twist out technique. So I'm about to do five twists per section. That's real fat and ugly, but the definition is something else. So I'm going to use my twisting cream from the Pure Honey line. Once again, my portion control is out of control, y'all. So you will see in this video, I have a lot of white cast on the top of my twist, but it's okay because this product actually doesn't leave me with that film on my hair or with a lot of flakes falling out. Thank God, because I'm tripping. Anyway, I'm going to work that product into that section as you see here, get my fingers all through it. Even though it's detangled, I just want to make sure the product is hitting all of the strands in this section and then I'm going to separate it like so and without intertwining those two separate sections I'm going to twist it as tight as I can from the root all the way to the end. So to secure my twist at the end, all you see here is I'm just twisting it around, kind of creating this little curl that you guys see right here. And that helps the twist stay in place. I know a lot of people have issues with their twist actually lasting through the night. So try that technique. If it doesn't work, we gonna play with something else, y'all. But for right now, this is actually what works for me. I wanted to show you guys how to do the back of the head because on my last twist out tutorial that I did when I first came out with my YouTube channel, someone asked me, how do I do the back? So this is just, you know, kind of a brief tutorial on how you can actually do the front and the back of your hair. So I'm gonna speed it up. Look at all this white residue on the top of my hair. <sighs> I be tripping. I don't know why this product actually looks like that because I don't feel like I use that much per section. It's just really sitting on top of that. But when I had my bonnet on this night, um, I kind of took it off just to see if the product was soaking. And after 30 minutes, like this whole white cast was gone. So I don't know y'all, but Anyway, back to how I'm twisting all the way down to the bottom. This is another technique that will help your twist stay. You have to get it all the way down to that bottom and like until you can't twist no more, until your fingers start tearing up against each other. And then you're going to twist it. And sometimes you may not get the best little curl because my ends in the front don't curl that good, but 
you'll see that the twist actually secures and it stays. All right, so I want to be real extra and just give you guys a close-up, but my hair is completed. Like I said, five twists per section, four sections, that's 20 twists. And I'm just gonna use my old faithful here. I don't know what happened right there. Um, anyway, and tuck all my twists into my bonnet so that the next day we have this juicy thing going on. And as you see, all that white cast is gone. My roots are a little fluffed, but I don't mind it. Some people mind it, but this is what a chunky twist out does to you. So with my oil mixture, I'm just going to put it into the palm of my hand. I'm gonna massage it onto the twist and into my scalp. And this is also going to help with the frizz. So as you see here, I'm just unraveling the twist in the opposite direction of which it was twisted. So if you followed the tutorial correctly and you did not intertwine any hair, you can just pull that twist straight apart from the root and you have this definition. All right, so now that all the twists are completely unraveled, it's time to start this separation. I don't know why I started with the back like y'all can see that, so let's just let this happen, and then I'm gonna show you guys how the separation actually works. So right here, you see how when I pick that twist up, it just automatically starts falling apart in areas? That's where you wanna separate, where your hair naturally allows you to separate it. So you don't wanna create frizz by just pulling it apart in different areas to make your fro look fuller. You just wanna gently separate it where it allows you to so that you have more control over your style. If you do see any frizz, there are areas where the frizz, you know, it's inevitable, it happens. You just wanna take your finger and twist it and twirl it around the hair so that it kinda creates another defined curl. up with me and just shaking my head but we're going to take this fro to another level and I'm just going to fluff 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 y'all already know it's 2018 we do not leave the house like we don't have a pit so as you see I'm just holding the ends of my hair and I'm fluffing at the root you guys can fluff the best way that you know for your hair but this is what works for me and as I go if I see anything that needs to be further separated we do it and boom chunky twist out takes no more than 30 minutes to twist your hair you get these results and you don't have to spend all that time doing your hair at night so y'all this fro is super defined feeling myself and yeah you guys know what to do like this video comment below and go ahead and subscribe to my channel 
Peace, guys.